had to change my mind. Mm -hmm. My chest looks like I'm not gonna lie, it looks like. See ya. Uh, we go again with a very poorly numbered. This one's number 12. Don't know where 11 is, but yeah, these, these were the original characters. This was Fire Sakura, which is now being read since his primary school, so. Damn! Absolutely terrible. Always start the page with an absolute ash drawing. Eh, yeah, that was bad. Yeah, I think, yeah, now that I look at it, it was quite angry. Needs a lot of pen with this. Um, um, yeah. Oh, this was the the whole story behind it, and I kept it quite long. Which I should have done a one-shot. Should have done a one-shot with it, but I didn't, so I'm a bit stupid for not doing that. But at the time, I was still learning. So yeah, these are all the original characters. I'm quite happy I changed it, but who knows? I might bring it back when I'm in uni. Who knows? Who knows? Or I might just continue. Um, oh, yeah, this was the updated version, which I ruined. So, yeah, I, I changed the hair. So, no more dreads, and I gave her this was like a little storyboard of how she was going to get the powers. But again, I ruined it. Yes, I did. Oh! Sorry. <laughs> Face impression on that looks weird. Yeah, I don't know where I was going with that. That was very terrible. Looks like my cousin's hair. Yeah, here we go again. Yeah, okay, Joe. This is a person I knew. Uh, and again, ooh, ooh, ooh. You have still got no drawings. It's Beat from Jet Air Radio. It's a really good game. I need to get a copy of the game. It's really good. I use this character design again. I mean, not design. Sorry, the face ex face expression for this one I've used quite a lot. So, look, okay, yeah, this is where I, I changed the hair to this. So, and I gave her that little like, kind of like a mini mullet, kind of something like that. And then I changed hers a little bit, a little bit more anatomy drawings. And look, it's me again. And having some pockets, things are starting to get a little bit better. Still looks terrible, but we move. And I changed that Oda's hair again, which kind of looked weird, but I started to like it. That's not my character. Neither is that. That's Cecil. That's from the comic Knock Out, Knock Out the Fighters by my good friend, Nourish Studios. Check him out, bro. He's got his um, comics on Global and um, oh, what's the other website he's used? Um, Manga Creators Plus, so you check my, my bro bro out. Oh uh, yeah, this was another story idea for the future, who knows? Who knows? People might like it. Hopefully, that's what's, that was number 12. Um, I don't know how much we've got left here. Yeah, but this is the, uh, I did like a little evolution of my OCs at the time I, yeah. logo changed as well, so. Let's change it again, so I might make a new one. Oh, I did this in maths. Oh, yes. I literally drew what happened in that maths lesson because I was waiting to get another sheet for my maths. And um, literally, Hash was right in front of me. He clearly couldn't hear me. So, oh, yeah, the college food was. Imagine £1.25 for a bag of Harry Bros nowadays. Mm -mm. Kiss me, crease, man. Mm -mm. Ah, yes. This um, character. Was... All right. Do you know um, the I did a time lap is on my Instagram, the one with the pink. Uh, pink. Uh, the yellow afro that's her for some reason so yeah hey this is this is otto's original design well actually it was going to be something else until i randomly drew it and a did, did, uh, digital copy the witch is now otto which i changed his hair and now he changes his hair and eyes everything else still is the same this one didn't turn out too bad actually quite cool this one Yeah, that was bad. Uh, staring into your eyes like that, man. Creeping me the fuck out. Uh, more face expressions. Yeah, I me dealing with hay fever at the time wasn't great, and my mate was making fun of me, so I told him to do one, do one. <laughs> yeah, hope he's doing fine. Mm. Yeah, that was ass. I didn't like that one. 
But this one, I like this one. This one turned out alright. Um, I, I don't know who that is, but the hand is bigger than the, the whole entire head, so scary. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I can't remember if it is, but <laughs> where, where are you two? It's like, what did you do? <laughs> what did you do? I don't know why I did. <laughs> There's something. Oh. Yeah. This one turned out alright actually. And know there's Yumiko again. Again physical. Not too, not too. Um This is Oda's, but obviously her hair her colour was gonna change at the time when she gets the powers, so I was doing like face expressions for each character's and here's Otto's character again. Just he still has the ponytail. Um I just changed this bit. Yeah, all of that. Those eyes still look the same actually, so yeah, just this bit changed really, so I made it a little bit better. Uh, I, did, I took a picture of myself and did this pose, so I got really bored and didn't finish that one. This is someone I know from college that I drew with glasses, I think. Oh, more character designs, facial expressions. Ah, uh, this was chapter 8, this is just before I rebooted the, uh, the series because it was really terrible. The panelling was awful, 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 awful. Yeah, so these were the... It was a bit of a bad shape, but it was a girl. That's, that's why I made the character, but yeah. Clearly you can see those were drawn behind. Uh, okay, so this was the feature idea of the comic I did. So basically the idea was like, I, I, I girlfriend coming to life. Yeah, I don't know if that was a good idea, but that, that actually, yeah. And then you got My Man Bunner, which I got the idea from uh, watching uh, um, Philly do that court case thing, and that character that was always smoking. So he's a name, which is quite funny. <laughs> yeah. I can't turn the page. There we go. Here he is again, side view. Side view drawing. Oh, damn. And my mate's from Escuela, my homies, which I'm still friends with. I didn't really put anything in the front with this one. This one's the smallest one. This I got this from when I was in Birmingham. I got it from that art shop, which I got a new mechanical pencil. And I did all of these designs, which I don't need to fit the thing on, so you can just see it. There was not a lot I did in this. So, so there's Uda again. Nice. And the random hand drawing is Uda again. And Uda again. And again. This time she's kind of a bit off and she's about to. Yeah, to oh, yeah. This is, uh, I've got the manga over there, it's a long name, but it's from the front cover. Probably know it. Rent a girlfriend. Um, I forgot her name again. So. <laughs> I don't know where I got this, uh, the idea for this, but this actually was quite funny. <laughs> uh, I was going to do a digital copy of this, but I just left it because if I did it, then I would have probably ruined it. Well, this was my other This was. Alright, so this, part, this, this scene I got from um, an anime FLCL. So it's really good. I quite like it actually. The style's quite awesome. Ah yes, this is the character I named after my mum. Um, so I couldn't ask to give her a name, so I just named after my mum. You have seen this character before because I've drawn it. I did a digital copy of it at the time when I changed my style. This was going good until I ruined her her eye. Uh, this was um, Tash. Uh, yes, this is Tash's next design. So I changed the design. Should have mentioned that in the middle. Sketchbook. I don't know who that is. Um, there she is again. Uh, kept drawing the character. I, I used this character quite a lot in college in my college um, uh, sketchbooks. And then that was supposed to be her friend Bella. And there she is again. So made them two very fashionable. Unfinished drawing. And then there she is again. Oh, I did the digital one of this, and I ruined them because I, when I digital drew this, I put the knife here. It kind of um, missed his face, uh, covered his face. So, I 
be in those seven ages. Yep, that's number 14. It's probably the smallest one I've got. Right, it's time to sit down because my back hurts. <laughs> right, this one. Uh, this one has more of the uh, character designs in for the future project I was talking about, which I might do a one shot on. So I'm gonna have a whole like, universe in that with my characters. So. Yeah. So this was supposed to be the AI girlfriend. So basically, behind the story, basically. So Bunner and um, Ryan, they were out drinking and they dared him to dead, uh, to download the app and it was chucking it with rain, they ended up staying over, left this window open. Next thing you know, he had the phone in his hand. Wow! Thunder, shazam, you get. So. <laughs> and then she wakes up to that sitting on a chair and bro freaked out because I was like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> Said that quite quickly actually. So yeah, these were all right. My anatomy drawings were getting better because I started using the shapes instead. Then here's Bunner's um, character design. I like this because it's simple. So, so I do. And this was the one of the brethrens that they work with. Might bring these back. Uh, really terrible. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Bunner likes to get on quite a bit. So. That ain't my character. I think I gave that idea to my mate, um, Nourish Studios, because he was looking for... No, actually, no, that was his idea. I just... He let me intrude up draw the character. And there's Yumiko with her bowl of Frosties. Because she likes her bowl of cereal in the morning. She doesn't have that, then shit will kick off. So... <laughs> there's Oda's um, character. I stopped the series to read the design the characters. There she is again, and it has the shirt, Eutychus with Peterkus. <laughs> uh, I need that on the shirt, I really do. So this was going to be the start of it. He was smoke, uh, Brian was smoking, and then some kid right next to him was just like, bruv, what are you doing? All right, get that out of my face. All right, this is the character I used for college. So my project was to do a post about, like, you know, either safe sex, global warming, da da da, well, obviously I did safe sex, and I did it in the style of but it's the dude that did the poster for West Side Story, the original West Side Story back in 66. So that's quite the style I did it in. It turned out really good. Soul Bass, that's it. Soul Bass. So yeah. Oh yeah, this was the second part to it. We were doing a little bit too much, so my character told him to go off. Cheapy, mm. you look terrible. I was practicing my uh, two point perspective. And again, working on two point perspective. Turn it inside to the better. I did a digital copy of this, so this one actually turned out alright, actually. And then in that digital copy, I put that character behind. Right. And then there's me in a thing. <laughs> Sometimes I like to put a character with the character. Oh, this is, alright, so that's me, and that's one of my brethren from um, college. He's also a very good artist, shout out Dan, but you know, you don't know, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> See, my chibis are starting to look a lot better, they're starting to look a lot better. Oh, this was the, I was going to do a Christmas special, which I will be doing this year, I'll be doing this uh, Christmas special this year, which I'm going to plan from early, and jump, so, yeah, so this was supposed to be, it was going to be a webcomic. Which I ruined. I did quite late actually, so my style starts to change a bit, so see you know, that looks a bit weird. So maybe someone went right there, so can you can see you know what I'm saying? Yeah, see look, don't the wrong tires right there. Listen, listen, listen. I was working on like viewpoints and stuff like that, so you're gonna see a lot of anatomy drawings on here. So just just super saying. See, see told you. I was working on I don't know why. Okay. <laughs> and this was from one of my old sketchbooks I recreated again. And again. These are from my old sketchbooks. I think, I think there's another one. I don't know. Um I don't know where oh right, so this is a drawing I put in my planner back in school, which I recreated with we two best friends. Um, more chibi art. <laughs> Select your queen and my Spider Man OC. Yes, I did an intro on my Spider Man OC. If you guys want to see that, it's in my, on my Instagram. And then the first time I've actually did that, like, I used guidelines for this to draw that car. I'm on Pinterest. 
and then I did that character again. I can't remember what sketchbook that was in, but probably one of the ones I lost. That ain't my character, but you guys will know who this is. So it's a good anime. I think it's good. There's something else. Oh, what's this? Yeah, this? Something else. Ah. Yeah, these were. Oh, can't even see them. Yeah, these were actually not bad actually, but I did these in college. So I've got my sketchbook, so. Yeah. Yeah, this one was not bad. Ah, if you guys don't know who this is, then you're lost. Not gonna lie, but I like this anime. It's really good. Even though it came out in the 60s, but I still love it. Come on, what episodes the One Piece? Imagine that. Right, we have four more <laughs> sketchbooks to go. Uh, I did this in um in my graphics lesson. I needed a front cover for my next sketchbook, so I did that. I think this one had more stuff in there. It looks Polaroid pictures. Of mine. That was from first year, and these ones are from last year. My birthday. Got it for my birthday. As uh, so we work with anatomy, I was working with the you know the shape things. So. It's time to get a little better. Portions and stuff like that. So we'll get in there, we'll get in there. So the style was starting to get a lot better. I was trying to invent, oh, not invent, but like trying to generate my own style now. Like, my own team. And Ayumiko's character design was redesigned again. So is Otto's. Um, I kind of cut his hair short. But this is the younger version of him. So. And then this is Tasha's younger self. But obviously, I changed his hair. And then this was going to be her hair, but I changed it again. Mm. Oh, so I did this on the bus. So I was sitting on the bus and so a whole group of people were seeing me sketching at Sonic. And then I did my own OC character of Sonic. And that's supposed to be me. And dreads. I've kept that dread with the character because it fits well with it. Yeah, so more here to designs of like this. Ah, so before I changed the um uh, uh the story, I was gonna do my own Super Sentai thing, which uh, the morphers were gonna be cassette tapes. So each cassette tape have a different element, and as soon as they play it, it gives them the power, and that Walkman gives them the power to either reverse and work. Da -da -da -da, this and that. Yeah, I'm I'm a, I'm a definitely use that feature. There's yeah, my Sonic OC again. More on that me joins. And this was the final time that I've actually changed Oda again, because I changed all the characters over and over. Uh, I did a digital copy of this one, because this one turned out really better than I thought. Mm. Uh, so I was working on my two-point perspective, took a picture of my room, and did a, yeah, this, Usually, uh, this would be a square, but I'm just a rectangle. So, the amount of times I've drawn that character, like so many times, like, bruh. And then my chibi started to get a lot better now, so I started to generate my own style with the chibi characters. And then there's her again. So, I really liked the old school anime style, so I started to come in love with that. There you go, see, now that's that. See, this hairstyle works a lot better. The other one was quite terrible, but this one works because I did that basic facial expression thing. Then poses I got from Gokaija, um, and other random poses that I randomly did, and more action poses from Super Sentai. And then there's Yumiko again, and that was her. This was her official character design, her new one. So. Ah, so this one was me and my mate were playing Animal Crossing, and my mate had like a very, in words, unique island. And you got the downstairs bit, yeah, the downstairs bit looked a bit um, concerning. So, yeah, I was going to do a digital copy of this, but then I realised I was like, you know what, I'm going to keep it as it is, because this looks better how it is. Now I was given, like, you know, which ones, uh, like, style of clothing and stuff like that for my characters. That one was going to read on my face or something like that. So I sticked with this one. With, with Otto, I sticked with this one. Uh, I, oh, yeah, I was really bored, so I was just messing about there, actually. Uh, these are the drawings. Uh, 
This is a sketchbook that I did for Mitchie at the end of the 2023. And my style was starting to get a lot better. And I still had the dreads at the time, so. That's my mate that I drew. It's quite like that. And I said it like it turned out better than I thought. Uh, so now my own style is starting to generate. You see, look, with the big eyes and stuff like that. So I like that. And then me with tails. I did a digital copy of this. So, so yeah, it looks all right. Uh, this is the head teacher of the school, um, which I also named after my mom. More poses I found on Pinterest. I was really bored, so you know. Made these characters. Ah, uh, this one I actually literally just sat there downstairs while my mum was on the phone. And I literally sketched what I saw, so in my style, and it turned out absolutely amazing. I don't know if I did that put that in my portfolio. I don't know if I put that in my portfolio. Probably did. I must have. I must have. And I did my character Oda as um, Cami from Street Fighter, one of my favorite Street Fighter characters. Drawn up quite a lot. Let's see. <laughs> There's Tasha Notto. Again. And this is my brother's design. Um, see now my style started to start to get to something and I was just like messing about with it and I really liked it, so I continued with it. So it's me again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so. Oh, I was going to, all right, so me and my mate were going to do a project. This is some of the people I met on Uvo, which I'm still friends with. Um, I was going to create a project and I was going to do like a logo for a friend, but I don't know if that's still carrying. I don't think that's still carrying. Or just went off to do our own thing. Right, but we all still speak. We all still speak. That's everything. What's that skip? Damn. This sketchbook was just for the Christmas thing. This is the idea I ended up scrapping, which I'm going to bring back this year. I'm going to do it from early. So this was the uh, Christmas one, the Christmas, ex Christmas Secret Santa gone wrong. Uh, man. This was my design through facial experience. So I was going to do the style one in Chibi. So that's all the face expressions from my, and then my mate Erin, and then my broski, Leyland, and then since like from Jump. So. And then there's um, uh, Skies, but obviously I got pretty lazy, I'm not going to lie, I didn't do anymore. So. <laughs> uh -huh. so the idea was they give given a, a random gift, which they, they open and they get sucked into another universe where there's opposite genders of them. Oh man, I like this one. <laughs> hey, that's my weird. <laughs> Yeah, these are all like the written like scripts and stuff for the the story. And then these were the like scamps and like and these are the original scamps. So I was going to do it in the manga page, but then I decided to do a webcomic in a webcomic format. Yeah, so. so yeah, this was where I was like, you know what, I'm gonna do it in webcomic format. So I'm gonna do it like that. I think these are still on webtoons. I think so. I'm not quite sure. They're everything. What's this? Uh, I don't think there's much to show in this one because most of this one has like writing and stuff. I think this had like um, drawings from. Yeah, so this is the one I did from um, end of the year. I was in Waterstones and it didn't have my book. I was not happy. Not happy at all. <laughs> And then I, these are all the cheapy actors, which look a lot better. Look at that. Look at that. Looks a lot better, don't it? Yeah. So yeah, so I ended up changing the idea just to make it. So I made it into like a comedy slice of life thing. So the idea, so if you guys are wondering, the idea for this manga, I'm going to have it until they get to year 11. So there'll be quite a lot of chapters. That's the plan. That's what I've, I've got in mind. Yeah, these are all the terms and stuff like that. So all of these are just um, uh, what's this? yeah. So all of these were like scripts and stuff for I think for 
how many chapters? One, two, and three. So this, yeah, this one has one, two, and three. Well, actually, no, one and two, actually, because the other one I did in a, a, a different sketchbook. Right. Yeah, wait, is this the right? Yeah, this is the right one, so. Damn. Uh, experimenting with, all right, so I've started to evolve with my, my style, and I'm starting to love it, and I did. Um, already bored, so I was experimenting with more other ideas or character styles. Alright, so this one, I definitely did a digital copy of, and this one turned, the digital copy turned out a lot better than I thought. Ah, so the character designs for Anna, Bella, Emily, Otto, and then uh, Oda and Yumi with a damn sugar flakes cereal bars. Um, I didn't give that character a name but she was in one of my digital copies of my drawings. Oh and Ray, which I redraw a lot of times with one of the beanie. That was the original. Oh alright so I had like more space in here so I just used it in the time so uh, these are all like different like character signs that popped into my head. Got hair inspo from Bobby Brown and other lines and stuff. Um, I don't know why I've done this character, but I quite like it. Got messy hair. Might come up with a person and you know, all that other character, so I might see that character quite a lot. Yeah, some of these are on Instagram. Yeah, I, I did these on the. I, I remember these ones, so I did these ones on the train especially this one because I was going to my open day for my uni that I'm going to be going to so that was all there yeah I did the oh yeah so like one of the yum yums the train station the one pound fifty and literally turned around and left the store because you know oh, God, I, I'm not paying for that I did this on the train as well it was quite um I did that I did that drawing when we were going back because it was from like when we were going how cramped it was and these are all, um, I think some, I think these, these are, some of them are old designs, but these are the characters that are in the manga, in the class. So I end up redrawing again, and some of the personalities some of the characters that have changed, and hairstyles and stuff like that. This was the, the seating plan for the class, which I, I don't know where I was going with this, but it's it very terrible. Oh, yeah, this is on Instagram as well. I did all, I did all of these on a, another sketchbook, I believe. I was going to use that as a land, so, so yeah, look, there's Ray. And then one of my friends from online. Another friend I met online. Yeah, and then, hey, it's all right, it's email. <laughs> and now, number 20. I told you these were poorly numbered, just super saying. Ah, uh, so yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, this one didn't have much in this one. Um, this really has, I think I only did like two pages in here. So these are all the character designs for the ones I originally just showed you. These are the more updated version, more the confirmed ones I'm going to be using. And especially these characters as well, because I've got, I've got uh, coloured um, mechanical pencils for my character uh, drawing and stuff. So when I'm in my team, and then I've got that, and then I can just go over it. And this was chapter four, part one, which I did all of this in a different sketchbook. So I can show you these ones because these ones are already out, but I'm gonna use this more often. There was not much to show in this one. So yeah, I'm gonna go and get the last sketchbook. Right, this is the most recent um, one I've got for sketchbooks. And this is the one where I started using dip pens. I just got a sort of interest to start using dip pens, and um, this is obviously you know me practicing with them. It started to get a lot better. I was watching Lupin the Third, and I did this character, and I quite liked it. Give him Jerry curls too. Well, his hair's kind of slicked back a little. I got that pose from Rama, so it's from my pose. Okay, now this is my updated OC. I'm trying to grow the afro and the sideburns, so. Um, yeah, I like the, the I love the old school style. I really do. Right. Yeah, yeah, there's me again. 
this little code that I know. Sketchbook. That's Otto, and I did a see my I'm actually starting to get a whole lot better now. So uh, this was his character. Usually I would have had him in, in the jumper as well. And then here's hers. Yumiko's well, she has the school hoodie, so it's, there's the and I got them wearing Air Forces as well. But obviously I've changed the design so I can't have the night watch on there, can I? I, I love this design. This is probably one of the best I've ever created. I did this out of the blue um, and it turned out really great, but obviously it kind of smushed a little because of the clock that it uh, dried or not. So, yeah. Abandoned drawings. Well, except for these ones. These ones I inked up and then they're abandoned again. And this one I did with my mate. This is uh, my mate Narration's uh, character. Um, I got the inspo from Rama from the. Um, the Pond that Rama and Sensei um, trained in. in. Yeah, I did these out of the blue. Some of these are some of these are out of the blue drawings. Uh, I did yeah, same with this one. Uh, I did this character. I had to give the name Gloria. It just randomly popped to mind. So, yeah, and some of these characters I got here. I've done from people. And another inked one which I completely ruined. Um, it was an accident. It was turning out really good until I accidentally smudged it from the eye and I really did ruin it. So I was going to continue with it, but I fucked it up. So, and more character designs. Hey, look, it's mine. I got the pose. I went to a picnic with my work friends. So. I only recently did, done this one, so you might see these on the ground. Um, I gave this character a very big forehead, but I quite like it actually. Not bad. And all these, and this is an old okay. so All of these ones are from my old sketchbooks, so some of them I do read the designs on. Hey, look, it's me again. Oh, I haven't finished this yet. I don't know if I want to continue with this one, but I kind of ruined it. I might, I might continue with this one. Oh yeah, um, I need to finish that as well. I only recently, I only did that a couple of days ago. Yeah, I did this a couple of days ago, but I'm gonna post this on Instagram so you guys can see. Yeah, that is not done yet, but yeah, that is every sketchbook I've got in my in my folder. Ooh. Oh, I hope you guys enjoyed that second part of the sketchbook tour video, because that's it. Unless you guys want a digital one, then let me know in the comments. And also let me know which one your favourite uh, sketchbook was in the comments down below. Anyway, lovely jubbly. I'll keep you guys updated on the gram. I don't use Twitter no more, just super sane. Do like to comment, like to comment, and subscribe. <laughs> yeah. Bye. <laughs> Bye.